New Braunfels, guess what? Our flip-flops land us today in front of Green Olive Tasting Room, one of our clients. Um, we've done their stuff, uh, man, I guess about seven, eight years. We'll have to check, check with them inside. And they came to us for a logo. She, Jill was like, I need a logo for my bottles. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's not why you need a logo. You need a logo for your business. She goes, well, yeah, but I can't order a product without a logo. So she came in, told me what she wanted. Um, we worked on what she wanted, but I didn't really feel it was a, a good fit. Feel that she kind of needed something um, a little bit more for what she was putting out there for the olive oil, for the vinegars that she was doing. So when she came in, we said, hey, you know what? This is what we've got for you. Um, we had it all drawn up and she liked it. She liked it. I said, but before you sign off on it, let me show you something else. So I showed her the other logo, which is what she's currently using on her signage and everything else that we've done. Um, and I knew instantly that that was the right fit. I get a lot of clients that do, they come in and they're like, you know what, I, I like the logo, and they're genuine about it. I like the logo, I do, I love it. But then I got clients that when they come in, their face just lights up, and you know that you hit the mark. When Jill came in and got the logo, I hit the mark, and I was proud to do so. And I watched them kind of grow their business over the last, like I said, seven years, we'll have to check with them. Um, from a little shop that used to be across the street, back behind Green with Envy here, to the one that you see currently that we're gonna go in and visit with them. Three times the amount of space. They've grown. Um, it's really neat to watch them kind of grow their business as well as grow their brand. So I'll tell you what, let's go inside and visit with Jill and David and see what's kind of going on. Hey, you guys know what day is? That's right, baby. <laughs> hey, we wanted to come and visit with you guys today. So what you got going on? How, how long have you guys been in business? Five years. Five years, December 6th. Okay. So f five years, and then you guys were across the street at one point in time. Yep. Behind Green, uh, Green with Envy. Yes. And then moved over here to a shop that's like three times the size. Yeah, the, that one was 700 square feet. And this one's 22, 23. That's big. That's big. That's huge. It's a big. It is a big. <laughs> it's a big place. We, we went from I guess forty-five different olive oil flavors to about sixty-five. Oh wow! And David was saying that you guys had you know, hey, let me get that from the back, and now the back is all visible back there and stuff like that. So now you guys got plenty. Back is open to the public. Yes. Back is open to the public. All right. Well, what you want? Let's try while we're having another conversation. Let's try your most popular. What's really a good seller for you guys right now? Tuscan. It's gotta be the Tuscan. Sweet, okay. where is that? Let's, let's see what that's about. Okay, so first you're gonna use a little hand sanitizer there, and then you're gonna grab. It's all ultra premium extra virgin olive oil. In three, two, one, boom. Can you feel it? I feel it already. Sending all over you. Oh. The Tuscan herb is oregano, rosemary, garlic, and Nice. There you go. It's a good thing Ooh, you're not wearing socks because that would have popped right off your feet. D that would. That's got some good. It's a now, perfect blend for bread dipping or if you want to. A lot of people roast their veggies with it, grill with it. Oh, yeah. Uh, put a splash of this Neapolitan herb with it. So, all the balsamics come from a white Triviano grape out of Modena, Italy. This was the perfect combination. Pretty savory. They age the balsamics 12 to 18 years. No sugar added, no coloring added. They kettle cook the grape to get that rich, dark color. Amazing. Who says visiting your customers can't be fun? <laughs> you can coat your stomach oh, nice man. and warm before the day. I like that. I can taste that. And the flavors on that's phenomenal. Really that just is. jumps out at you. I almost jumped down my flip flop. Uh, <laughs> Can't have that on flip flop Friday. Gotta, mm, flops, that's good. That's on. good. Well, sweet. Um, so you guys have been in business. F woo. You kept woo. You that after taste. Of water? No, I'm, I'm I'm good. I just wasn't expecting when I, when I swallowed those those flavors are actually just right there. That's nice. Um, <laughs> caught me off guard. So uh, five years. So we've done a lot of things for you, not you just your logo. A lot. Okay. So um, we've done your website for you, got that set up, and that's a Spotify website. You got, David, you handle that? Uh, we, we do all the online ordering and the, we do uh, post everything online, all the beautiful recipes my beautiful wife comes up with. I try to nice. keep up with the recipe blogs. He handles uh, all the orders that come in and that, which is 
Okay. Much more busy now. <laughs> especially lately. Especially yeah. lately. So we've done website for you. Um, of course, we've done beautiful logo on the, on the bottles, which looks really sharp. Um, we've done some business cards for you, we've promo all cards, signage. all the signage, A-frame. We've got an A-frame for you as well. And um, even recently, the sign for the high school graduation people, you were able to put that together in less Last than minute a week. banner. Last minute banner yeah. for you guys, for yeah. the seniors, because they got gypped this year. So we want to give them a little love, a little love for the seniors. So I've got, I've got a question for you guys. So I figured, you know what, Flip Flop Fridays, we gotta have fun, right? And you guys know me, it's I gotta have a little fun, fun too. Fun, yes. All right, so here's your question. Uh-oh. As a child, oh, no. what, is your, what was your favorite toy that you couldn't go anywhere without? Oh. Your favorite toy. Genghis Khan gave me a, a, a little <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite toy. Hmm. I, I gotta think about that for a minute. I mean, this mine's gonna be sad. I well, that's not now. I, I have to say it was Barbies. I had every single Barbie imaginable. Every Barbie? Well, that, that's... that's it just seems so... It's well, like, that's what you play with all the time. My child has got like Xbox. He's got his phone. <laughs> <Android, laughs> <got his> <laughs> <laughs> well, when we were the kids, it was you know we get outside playing in the dirt. Now it's yeah. stay, stay at home and play yeah. with you know. I don't know because we, yeah. we did you know though I grew up where they were like building. There's a lot of new construction, so we'd go outside and we'd always have dirt clog bikes. <laughs> hey, I, I was so, a boy. We were out jumping say bicycles. Dirt clog was my favorite. But <laughs> what about that's you, David? GI Joe with the Kung Fu grip. Hey, you know what? It, not it, the it, little guy. I'm talking the big, the one that like. David did not. Barbie. Yep. Had had the velvet the hair. <laughs> kind of had the velvet the the velvet hair exactly. or something like that. I, I did. I, I, I didn't do the Barbie, but I <laughs> had my GI Joe. I had my GI yeah, Joe. You know, as, as a kid, I, and I don't know why, um, and this is young, young, this is probably like five or smaller, I had this rabbit, this big stuffed rabbit, and I slept with it so much that the thing was like a pancake. You still like, oh no, you like <laughs> owls you pancake. now. Don't you? I, owls are my right. thing. Owls are my thing for my grandmother. Got okay, good. Bless her. Um, so yeah, so it was this rabbit and it was, you know, I'd sleep with it every night. It became like almost a pancake. When you lay it down, you can see the rabbit. When you lift it up, it was just like a line because it was flat. Paper thin. So, yeah. Well, hey, we appreciate you guys um, hanging out with us today, getting, letting everybody know a little bit more about Green Olive. And uh, you can find you at, what's the website? GreenOlive.com. All right. And what's today's? Flip Flop Friday. Flip Flop Fridays.